Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonicweb Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonicweb Studios is the answer. Sonicweb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews, and Eve Eleven enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many else. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Also on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. For great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Muslim Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Muslim Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show.com, and make sure you donate generously today. She's back by popular band. It's been about a couple of years since we had her on the show. She's an entrepreneur, best selling author, speaker, and coach, and founder of the Complete Herbal Guide, and uh, empowered over thousands of people um, around the world with books, websites, e courses, and podcasts, and more. She grew up with epilepsy, also around dysfunctional family, low self esteem, and uh, feeling of loss. And um, she began her healing journey in her 30s, and we'll give a quick recap about that. And uh, she's also written the Complete Earl Guide, the Complete Guide to um, Natural Healing. My mommy has epilepsy, also uh, epilepsy, You're Not Alone, and more. And she's got three new books out to also talk about latest podcasts and some great updates live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios um, along the East Coast. She's back by Pop the Man. It's been about a couple of years. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Complete Herbal Guide, we've got the multi-talented Stacey Chalemi. Stacey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. It's been a while we've had you on. Yeah, good morning to you too. I'm so excited. I haven't seen you in a while. I've missed you. We keep on touch on Facebook and I love hearing from you. And I'm really excited to uh, be on the show today. Well, we did some series as well too, uh, back a while, like, you know, hair loss, losing weight. And I think yeah. there's also, um, you know, you know, treating for heart conditions and um, overall health and more. And, um, and of course, you know, the pandemic hit and everything. And, um, yeah. and of course, you're the author of the complete, complete herbal guide and uh, entrepreneur, best selling author. And um, you also had began your journey in your thirties. And um, before we get to your, uh, you got three new books called epilepsy You're not alone. You also got empower yourself don't let your conditions empower you and also the positive and uh gratitude generally just have a podcast so uh first of all just give us a very quick update on uh, how you got started and um and of course you know what's your latest on your journey as well too so bring us up to speed of what's going on stacy Sure. So, you know, when I was uh, five years old, I had a simple like cold flu um, and uh, my mother heard some noise in the other room. She came to check on me and I was turning blue and in a grand mal seizure. So I was rushed to the hospital and I was um, induced into a coma. I had encephalitis and it had traveled to my brain. So um, when I when I was in the coma, uh, they told me they told my parents, actually, that if she comes out, she's probably going to be paraplegic or she will probably have severe brain damage well you know my father was praying by my bedside and he's from greece and he was thinking about a statue in his old town that used to have teardrops coming down and after praying he looked up and a tear rolled down my eye and i woke up and the first thing i asked for was mcdonald's french fries <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and a happy meal toy to go with it yeah exactly <laughs> well, i used to like those toys and you know we didn't care if it was garbage or not we used to want those little toys and you know i i grew 
grew up with epilepsy, you know, to this day, they, they diagnosed me with epilepsy. They can't find the scar tissue damage in my brain. But, you know, for years I had ongoing seizures, all different kinds. And uh, it was rough. It was rough growing up. And especially when I got into college, it was really tough. Because as you know, when you're in college, you have that late night study in the, the stress of doing well, getting good grades and so forth. So I was really having a hard time. I was consistently having seizures for from the stress. And I, you know, I wrote one day, I decided to write an article to the um, Epilepsy Foundation. Back then they had a magazine. It was a quarterly magazine and they published my article. And in that article, I asked people, how do you cope with epilepsy? How do you get through this? And su surprisingly, I got three to 400 letters from people all over the United States and Canada sharing their story, sharing their advice, giving me, you know, um, you know, input on how I could live life with epilepsy. And I'll tell you, I was really touched by those stories. And at that point, I realized that I wasn't alone because, you know, when I was trying to figure out and trying to find information about epilepsy, there was nothing. There was about four or five books on the bookshelf. They were written by doctors and medical terminology. If you weren't a doctor, you had no clue what they were talking about. And, um, you know, so I used those letters as inspiration and guidance and it helped me through. It made me learn uh, that I wasn't the only one. It made me help, help me realize not to feel sorry for myself, that there are a lot of people going through what I'm going through and some even worse than me. So, you know, I got into, I, after college, I got into the city. I had a nice corporate job. I got, you know, the dream job I always wanted that everyone would die for. <laughs> and then one day I felt an aura coming on and I was walking in the hall and I fell down and had a seizure and the producer walked over me and kept walking. And I was partially awake. So I could see the, I, the gentleman walking over me and I couldn't believe that he just didn't stop to help me. And then 30 minutes later, um, a, a co, a co assistant came over and said, Oh, I'm sorry, Stacy, but you don't meet the requirements of this position. We're going to have to let you go. And oh, that's an insult. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, job discrimination was a big thing. You know, pe people got fired for lots of different reasons back then. They can't get away with it now in, in today's world. But back then, you know, it, it was a lot of stigmatism, a lot of fear. People, you know, didn't understand it. They feared it and they didn't want to be liable for it. So, you know, I lost my job and uh, I didn't give up, though. I was like, I was determined, you know, you know, there's something out there for me. And so I started my own writing business. I was doing freelance writing and then I had met this herbalist and he asked me to do uh, research for him and write articles. And as I'm reading and, and researching and, and applying, I was like, wow, this stuff is really interesting. I think this stuff might be useful for, for me and my condition. So I started applying a lot of this natural, um, natural remedies and alternative medicine and lifestyle changes to my own life. And my seizures went from 12 seizures to nine, six, five, four, three, two, one, wow. you know, I got I, you know, with a combination of my my medication I was taking and using a healthy lifestyle and using um, detox in my body and and different doing different remedies. Uh, I was able to control my seizures and. Um, you know, it was a, it was a long struggle, but, you know, I, you know, I learned how to, um, you know, uh, re reassemble my life, so to speak. And um, I started writing a book on different, like on a, how to teach others how to regiment their life, how to change their lifestyle, things they could do to help themselves. And, um, you know, as I was doing that, you know, I started to do, I don't know if you remember blogger on Google. It was, I remember like, those days. Yes. I remember. <laughs> I think my wife was doing that. My friends were doing it. Here I am typing a few words. I'm like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing it too. And I was, I started a little blogger, um, you know, blogger for anyone that doesn't know is like a little website that, you know, they gave out for free for people who wanted to start writing and, and write about anything. So I started writing about natural healing and a lot of people were coming on and they were interested. And back then I had about maybe 400 people came on. I was like, wow. I was like, that's a lot, you know, for, you know, these articles. And so then I started working with a 
website designer. And he's like, you know, Stace, I can make a really nice website for you, for your, you know, for your natural healing article. So I started um, a website and the website just grew and grew and grew. And it got, you know, we have over 5,000 articles on there now. And, you know, and I still take off a couple thousand each year, you know, just to clean up the website and keep everything up to date. And, you know, we have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people who come on to, to see, you know, and learn about how to heal themselves naturally. And, you know, during that time, I also realized that if it could help me with my epilepsy, it could help people with lots of different conditions, you know. And that's what inspired me. I, you know, I work with advocated and helping people with epilepsy. And at the same time, I'm trying to teach others how to heal their conditions naturally and not always resorting to popping a pill and go over the counter or get a prescription. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes we need medication, but sometimes we could do it naturally. And by filling yourself up with prescription drugs or over the counter medicine, you might be causing yourself more symptoms and it could be related to the medication you're actually taking. And then you go back to the doctor say, hey, you know, now I'm starting to get headaches. I don't really feel good. They give you a prescription for headaches. And then you come back and say, you know, I'm feeling really fatigued and sluggish. And, you know, I just don't have energy. And then they write you a prescription for something else. And before you know it, you have a pharmacy of drugs and they're all caused by some of the medications you're taking. They interact mm -hmm. with each other. And maybe think of one instance where it's just like I was reading somewhere, you know, someone came in for like a headache and they give you a medicine for this, medicine for that. And so it's like this big. And then, and then next thing you know, it, it wound up being like, yeah, they're going for like almost an, an aneurysm. And, and uh, nowadays it's like I'm, I'm hearing complaints from people that uh, you're only allowed to um, to go in for like 10, 15 minutes. And by laws and the regulations, doctors have to meet for like 10, 15 minutes. You'll hardly get to know your patient. That's the problem. That is the problem, you know, and I would get upset when doctors would do that because you, you, you know, it takes a, you know, especially now it's very hard to get appointments with doctors and you finally get your appointment, you go in there and a lot of doctors will rush you in and out. And it's like, wait a second, I'm, I'm paying you. I'm, you know, whether your insurance is paying for most of it, or you're just paying for the copay, you're still paying for an appointment. You're still paying for that service you should you're entitled to for quality care the only way to get quality care is for a doctor to sit there listen understand the patient and communicate with the patient and then diagnose the patient and work with you to try to find a solution how do you do that in 10 15 minutes you can't it's impossible mm -hmm. and that's impossible as well too and this leads to uh, the leading of the complete herbal guide and other books we'll talk about just one minute but first listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need look at a professional website without breaking a budget sonic web studios is the answer sonic web studios offers fast affordable custom web designs at below the competition way call today 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com mention the mike widener show get 20 percent off your first project Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor, The Mike Widener Show, international war ring author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson has garnered great reviews in Eve 11 and George Bond, Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manilis. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms, heard in over 100 countries, including HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and more. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. For great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books, merchandise, and more. And support the Mike Widener Show with your generous donation on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with an uh, entrepreneur, best-selling author, and speaker and coach, Stacey Chlemmy, here on the Mike Widener Show. And of course, um, we'll be talking about another time as well, too, and, um, you know, why doctors is so important and you can't, you know, you know, go 10, 15 minutes or so. And uh, this also leads, you're looking for um, from uh, care for a doctor, care from a hospital to a complete herbal guide and complete care as well to you. Start from complete herbal guide and complete guide to natural healing and more. And um, tell us more about those books and uh, the complete herbal guide, especially puts you over the top. So, you know, my first book was Epilepsy, You're Not Alone. I had, uh, this is how it all started basically, is that after I got all those letters I was telling you about, 
I started um, writing a book. It took me a long time because between college, between having kids, I never finished it. And my, one day my husband said, would you finish that damn book already? You started it and you, you, you know, you, you work on it a little here and there, but you never finish it. Finish that damn book. So I said, you know, you're right. I'm going to finish that damn book. And I, I took, you know, I took my experiences, all the letters and everything I learned on how to control seizures for myself. And I let other people know about it. And then one day I I got an email in my and I opened it up and someone said I found your book in Barnes and Nobles I was on the verge of suicide I read your book and you gave me inspiration to live and they thanked me and they said I follow your regiment and you gave me my life back and that's when the light bulb went off and I was like wow how the words of wisdom can have such an impact on somebody's life I think you never realize but anything that comes out of your mouth to another individual another human being can have a huge impact, good or bad. So you always have to think before you talk. But when you do something to help another individual, and it actually helps them, it's the greatest accomplishment in the world. And it was that moment when I realized that this was my true calling, not working in the city, not having a corporate job, not being, you know, some kind of, you know, special person, you know, drinking martinis on, on a Friday night and buying expensive clothes. My true calling was to help people. And that's when I realized that's my passion. That's my love. And so I start, I started working, you know, I was, I was do, already doing the natural healing. So I created the book. Um, it took me five, about five years to write that book. And it was the complete herbal guide. And I talked about all different herbs and all different, um, you know, supplements and different alternative ways of living, you know, that could help you. I explained what every herb did, the treatment, the precautions and everything to go with it. And then as time went on, I, I recently, if you don't mind me showing, I had written a book about empowering yourself. I started, what I did was first is that people were asking me to update my book. So I updated Epilepsy, You're Not Alone, and I created the new version of it. So I have a new version out that we had tweaked. And, um, you know, I updated it. So it has all the current information to help people. And I also written a book about empowerment, because I think it's so important. So many people give up on life when they're not feeling good, when they have an illness or a disorder or a disease, you know, it's very hard to live with, you know, with a, any kind of condition in your life. So I wrote a book, um, it was called empower yourself, don't let your your condition empower you. And it teaches people, you know, I use it from my own experience, how I went from coping with my epilepsy and step-by-step -step process, how I was able to work on my self-esteem because it knocked me down. You know, at first I was in denial. I didn't want to accept it. And then I would look in the mirror and I would see myself not doing well. And I didn't like the person I saw. I was mad. I was angry. I was frustrated. Why does this have to happen to me? And I went through lots of different, you know, different stages in my life. And then I went and I finally, you know, I, I, I learned how to, to actually feel good about myself as a person and actually, you know, have, you know, like the person who I saw. So I worked on my self-confidence, my self-esteem. I created short-term goals, long-term goals, and I learned how to actually, you know, um, move forward in life and, you know, and reach for the stars and reach for my dreams. And, you know, I talk about positivity, the power of positive thinking. Uh, I talk about how important it is to have a gratitude journal because a lot of people, we don't realize uh, you know, how, how lucky we are until something gets taken away from us. And then we realize that little things in life do matter, you know, so I created like a, a positivity and gratitude journal, it goes with actually those two books. And it teaches people, you know, we sometimes we take for granted, we go outside, we smell the roses, we smell the trees, we have a cup of coffee, we see the trees blown in the air, you know, we have our family, our loved ones, and sometimes we just take we take we don't we don't have we, we take that for advantage we don't realize that we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring and that we need to live for today and we mm -hmm. need to really you know be gracious and thankful for what we have in our life mm -hmm. certainly indeed as well too and you also have a book called uh how to purify water and uh maybe a bit about that and of course there's people are looking for ways to purify the water and um you know according to most reports that some of the water in some areas have really gotten bad too a lot of the water actually has gotten Flint, really bad. Michigan, are you paying attention to this one? <laughs> 
a lot of the waters have gotten really bad and and you know the lot the towns are required they would send letters and they would warn people you know please you know do not drink the water you know resort to bottled water and i'm thinking to myself okay they're going to resort to bottled water and then what happens when the the bottles actually get warm from the sun you know you have them out maybe and you don't have them in your pantry and then if the plastic gets warm it can put toxic chemicals into the water and then also what about when you take showers your pores open up that water is going into your body anyway so it's like you know you, you know there there are purification systems you can purchase and not everyone has the money to purchase those systems those are expensive you know oh my gosh you, yes you know and you can get now you can get fil certain filters for your your faucets and they have a lot of those filters now for the refrigerators or, as well but you have to be very careful and, and you know and i talk about in that book i talk about you know different things that you could do to help purify your water and explain to people why it's so important like when you have when you put toxic chemicals in your body if your body doesn't know what those toxic chemicals are and those toxic chemicals can be in the water even healthy areas they tested waters and they found a lot of impurities in the waters and even a lot of these bottled waters they found impurities in a lot of the bottled oh waters too oh my gosh you know, too many to count. My goodness. Yeah. And, you know, so it's like your body doesn't know what these chemicals are. They don't know what these impurities are. So they store it in the body. And what happens is your organs, everything becomes sluggish because the toxins are built in your body. They're building up. They're affecting your organs. They're affecting your body. You're becoming and that's how people get ill, you know, so it, it's very important to make sure that your quality of water that you're drinking, that you're taking showers with, you know, are are is pure and as pure as it possibly can be and and you know be careful you know on what you're drinking and and even you know even drinks with that ha have colored artificial and coloring in them you know those could be cancers or those dyes are put in just to make drinks look pretty you know but and they could also cause cancer at the same time so you know you have to treat your your body like a shrine and really take care of it because anything bad that we put into our body you know, will have effect with us health wise. If it doesn't do it now, it, it, it will in time catch up with you. And certainly does as well, too. You, you can also inform people as well, too, about your books, about your courses and everything through your podcast as well, too. And um, tell us more about that. And uh, you also talked about uh, you have you'll have an upcoming podcast as well too. give us more about that. Sure. So I had um, two people that I'm very close with, and they're both coaches. I am a health coach, a lifestyle coach, and an epilepsy coach. And um, Stefan, he is a epilepsy and addiction coach. And Liz, who I also work with, she is a epilepsy coach. So what we do is we created a, um, a podcast called The Healthy Group. And it ta we talk about, you know, we mainly have a lot of people with epilepsy on, but we talk about health. We talk about lifestyle changes we talk about you know how we have people come on the show and we talk about you know um their challenges with epilepsy and how they dealt with epilepsy and you know some of them have written books some of them have their own uh advocating groups going on and some of them have their own shows as well so you know if anyone is interested in coming on the show and they have epilepsy and they want to share how they're coping with epilepsy or they think it could help other people we more than welcome them to contact me and I would love to have them on the show. And I'm creating right now, as I was talking to you before the show, I am going to be creating a website, um, a podcast right now. I'm putting it together. It's called The Advisor, Stacy Knows. And mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of things that are health related and a lifestyle related. And I'm working to try to help people understand that they are alternative ways to try to help yourself. And there are a lot of things that you can do to help your body and not you know sometimes we can't always help yourself naturally sometimes we do need medications it depends on the person it depends on on the illness or the condition you know there's a lot of factors to go into it but if we take care of our body and we do the right thing you know you can make your body you could heal your body sometimes sometimes and sometimes you could improve the health of your body that you'll be shocked how you can get rid of a lot of the symptoms and a lot of the things that are occurring in your life Mm -hmm. And certainly do. And uh, where can we find your podcast and how do people get a hold of you? And most importantly, where, where can people get your books at? 
Okay, so my books are on um, Amazon and they're being distributed to all different uh, bookstores like Barnes and Nobles and I have them on my website. Um, if you like to, you know, a lot of people now are ordering on the website. So I say just go to Amazon because you'll find them there, you know, uh, you know, and um, we ha I have all my books listed on Amazon. Um, also, uh, my podcast uh, should be going, coming out soon. I'm going to be um, doing a, a Zoom and I'm going to be posting it on my YouTube channels. And um, I will also be uh, using um, other audio and, and other uh, ways of uh, distributing the shows so they, uh, they become global uh, worldwide. And um, if people are interested in, you know, if they have something health related, if they are an author or if they are, you know, if they have a product or if they have something they'd like to share, if they're a doctor or in the health field and they want to talk about alternative medicine and they want to talk about different ways of helping the body, you know, contact me and I'll be happy to, you know, work something and to put them on the show as well. You know, my thing is getting the message out to people because my thing is people just don't know where to start. They're like, where do I begin? And that's the, you know, that's where I want to try to help people and show them this is step one and from step Step one, this is step two, and, and this is how you could help yourself and, and kind of touch base on all different types of, um, of uh, different issues, including stress, because 90% of, of, of illnesses are caused by stress. So, you know, there is so many things that we'll be talking about on my show. I'm very excited about it, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And sounds great as well, too. What else can we expect being in 2022 and beyond besides what you got, Stacey? Um, right now, you know, my main goal is I want to do a lot of speaking events. Um, now that COVID is starting to calm down a little bit, you know, right before COVID, I was doing a lot of speaking events. And then when COVID came, we all kind of got into the lockdown and a lot of things got put on hold. But right now, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of speaking events virtually and also at different facilities and different places. So, you know, I open that up as well. If people, you know, want me to come and speak and teach them about, you know, empowerment and healthy living and how to empower yourself to overcome your obstacles, I'd be ha more than happy to, you know, um, work something out to help people because that's what I really want to do right now is I'm focusing on, on my book, um, Empowering Yourself, how to overcome, how to overcome your conditions, overcome stress, overcome obstacles, how to, you know, be, ha get to release that inner strength that we have inside us. Many people don't realize that we all have an inner strength and we could do anything we put our minds to. Some people just don't know how to believe in themselves. They don't know how to get that inner strength out, but I want to show them how, and that's what I'm going to be doing. And we're certainly looking forward to it as well. Stacy. we're here with uh, entrepreneur, best-selling author, uh, Stacey Chlemy here on the Mike Wagner Show. Stacy, it's great to catch up with you and always great Same to have here. you on. And uh, once again, um, tell us uh, what you got coming up, what's your website, how do people contact, where can people uh, purchase your books and check out your podcast? Okay, so you can go on the Complete Herbal Guide, and that's where all my articles are on health-related issues. I have different recipes and, and different fitness um, articles uh, to help you, and I also have some of my um, links where you can go on to um, my new bookstore, and it's, uh, health, it's health and wellness uh, produ uh, productions.com and all my books are listed there. Uh, you could also find my books on Amazon. I also have stacychilemi.com website and that has all my coaching information and has all my videos and um, other information um, to help people. Um, and, you know, to, and if, I also offer coaching services as well. So if people want to um, have me one on one and have me, you know, provide them with coaching services, I have you can go on stacychilemi.com and I have um, my coaching services on there. And then we have my epilepsycarecoach.com and that website is for people with epilepsy who are looking for help and information and also for coaching services as well. We're certainly looking forward to it. Once again, Stacy, a very big thank you for your time. You're definitely looking forward to having you again soon. We'd like to wish you all the best and um, let's chat soon again. Thank you. I look forward to that. <laughs>